So we're taking a question from YouTube in response to last week's video. Yes. As a young woman, she can masturbate to orgasm by herself, no problems. Then when her boyfriend is going down on him, her, she has a hard time telling him what to do. Yeah, welcome to the so club. So she lets him just kind of flounder. <laughs> no, no, And no. she can't orgasm. And no. she's like, how do I get to the point where, how do I do it? Okay, stop. If she just lets him continue making the mistake. It's on this, her. Th this, is, <laughs> this is why so many men have no idea what women want. No one trains them it's, sexually. Exactly. We have to be, and, and uh, Mama Gina says this, you have to learn how to be a man trainer. And I'm going, right, I've been doing that all my life. Well, look what you did with Eric. Thank you. It's just, and, and what it is is giving them information of what you like. Now, the feedback sh as they're doing it. The more communication, <laughs> more lubrication. And it's the communication part is that we really don't get into the nitty gritty. It's very difficult to talk to your significant other about what you like sexually. It, I'm, I, it, I worked on it for years, and, and the expression that I use is, get your mouth open, Dodson. Speak up. Speak your mind. Say something. Say it. And it's like, <laughs> I practice talking out loud when I masturbate. And I get comfortable saying things, and that's my practice. And then it's okay. It's okay. easier for me to say it to a partner. She's multitasking. I am a one-track <laughs> operator, and and when I'm focusing on building up sexual energy, if I speak one word, I have to go back and start over. Yeah. Now yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's unusual. Maybe it is. I don't think so. I cannot verbalize while I am building sexual tension. I can before, and I can after. Now, what I would prefer instead of, I mean, it's wonderful if you can say something at the moment. Yes. But I think very few of us can. So, first I just want to say the very first time this happened to me. I love this story. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and this is, I know it's, I'm old in it. This is back in the 60s when we were breaking open. You know, sex was beginning to happen for the world. With, and for women. For America. <laughs> and for women. And I had this sweet guy and he was so nice and he was so devoted and he was going down on me. And he had no idea where my clitoris was. He was all <laughs> over the place, in the hole, on the outer lips, uh, you know, above uh -uh, it. That's not it. <laughs> uh -uh, that's not so it. I thought, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to show him. So I said, Tom, wait a minute. Let me show you where my clitoris is, which is what you want to do. And he kind of looked at me, a good Catholic boy. And I <laughs> got the light on the side of the bed, and I tipped the shade, and I pointed it at me, and I opened my legs, and I said, see here? And he goes, yeah. Now. He couldn't stand the pussy show. It was a little too much for him. <laughs> <laughs> it blew his mind. And, and, uh, and I showed him, and I said, you got it? He said, I, yeah, I got it. And then I lay back down, and he goes, uh, he looks at his watch, and he said, I didn't realize how late it is. I've got to leave. <laughs> and he flew out then, and I went, oh, great. I think most men appreciate that. Well, now, you know, that's a good litmus test, because if you can't look at my pussy, then get out of my bedroom. If you can't look at it and, and allow me to show you what I like, you don't belong there. Yeah, you were going to have a positive sexual well, now, this experience is also him. this is also This is also before porn was available. And the internet, exactly. Okay. So now I think people yeah. are over that. So, But just to let you know that speaking out, speaking our minds, is not easy. Let's just start yeah. there. It's very difficult, getting your mouth open. I really like, you know, and one of the things you can do is to, if you can't go to the to your sex organ, is to put your finger on his his hand or go. Yeah, and show do, him. And do on his hand what you want him to do on your on your clit. The idea is that communication is specific, and it's better to show and to, that rather than tell. And if you can't show, then tell. But I say do it after the session. Ooh. Or do it before the session. Not during. Not during. That's it's too demanding. Don't do it during your... It don't You're break thinking the, too much. It's not easy to communicate. It's very important. But as long as we keep our mouths shut and let them continue to make the same mistake, then the next woman he's dating, he's going to go down on and she's going to say, that just doesn't work for me. And then he's going to say, and how many times have you heard this? All the other women I've been with can have orgasms when I do that. So think about the sisterhood. You owe it to other women to train him to be a good lover. Yes, we all do. Take control, sisters.